Hi guys, we're here with our massage therapist, Liz Schneider. She works out of the McLean Clinic. She's going to talk to us about sinus pain and problems and how that can affect our head pain, neck pain, and general quality of life. So Liz, what can you tell us about sinus massage? Well, a lot of people don't think about sinus massage and it even being an option. They're usually pretty surprised. But in this area, it's really critical because so many people have allergies, sinus infections, we have a lot of humidity, pressure changes. And um, a, a lot of people, even professionals, don't realize that there's um, a connection with the neck, muscular system, and how we experience pain. Um, so if your sinuses are constantly in a state of inflammation, everything is gonna kind of bunch up around it. Your neck, your jaw, um, it's just gonna wear you out. Cool, so give us a brief description of how it works or how long it takes. So usually I like about 30 to 45 minutes for a sinus massage, which seems like a long time, um, but you really have to address everything from the neck up. So I usually like that. Um, and then the other thing is, is it's a very gentle massage. The sinuses are superficial, so they're very close to the um, surface of the skin. And what I find is people come in, with chronic sinus issues and they'll be digging into their face. And it's sort of like picking at a bad tooth. It feels good to begin with, um, but then you have a big infection like a couple days later. You wanna be really gentle with your sinuses. I mean, there are some areas that you can apply a little bit more pressure, but I, I try to coach my clients in doing their own sinus massage and what areas that they need to look out for and um, what they need to be careful about. So we start from the bottom, we work our way up, and it drains. And um, usually the client will have a little bit of um, drainage and they may experience it um, for the next 24 hours or so. So do people often feel relief during massage? Does it come a little bit later? What's the typical? So yes, yeah, so usually there is some kind of reaction. So, um, Typically people will start swallowing, we need to sit them up, it sounds kind of gross, but you know, it, there's a great relief with this. And if you're in a constant state of inflammation, you're more prone to like allergies, um, you know, colds, uh, neck pain, um, and just general uh, nausea and dizziness. Neat. So how does this um, apply to kind of the area that we live in around the Washington DC metro area? So the Washington DC metro area is really a tough area for people to live in. Um, we have a combination of things that can make a person with allergies and sinus issues absolutely miserable. So we have rapid pressure changes, high humidity, pollution. I mean, we're basically living in a swamp. So you're not getting a whole lot of clean air. Um, and sometimes you do need that added assistance to encourage things to, to drain out. It's like anything else that you maintain, brushing your teeth, whatever it may be, um, it's very important to address this um, because it can cause so many other uh, complications and issues. Speaking of that, what's the connections between our sinuses and our muscles? Okay, so there are a lot of connections, um, particularly this nice little muscle right here, the sternocleidomastoid. Um, it's a mouthful, um, but this muscle is really, really important and it's one of those that rarely uh, hurts on site. What it does is it refers pain and pressure to various points in the head, particularly the sinuses around the eye and around the ear. It can even cause a um, pseudo kind of reaction in which your, your eye starts to tear, your nose starts to run. So not all allergies and sinus problems have a pathological or a uh, or an allergy source. Some things can, some of the times it can be caused by stress, hormones, um, you know, other conditions. And structurally, if everything is tight, you know, your sinuses are going to be affected by this. They're not going to drain properly, and things are going to kind of accumulate. So it's really helpful if you have uh, if you're going through rehabilitation to um, also check out your sinuses and always tell 
your uh, physiotherapist or your chiropractor that you do have sinus problems because we can work on your neck all day long, but if this is not addressed, then you're gonna have recurrent issues. That leads me right to my next question. So could any of our current patients who are at SSR benefit from this type of massage? Yes, I think everyone can benefit from this kind of massage. You might actually be surprised at how much pressure it can uh, relieve. So I'm here Monday through Friday, pretty much keep the same hours, sometimes even longer. Some of the clients, uh, they'll come see me after they do their rehab or before. Usually people don't want to go and do a uh, rehab after they get a massage. Um, or you can come a different day. So you would just schedule um, like you would regularly. And um, if you have a particular goal of, uh, let's say, rehabilitating your neck, this is just gonna help get you there faster. So absolutely, and we, we can do other things as well in addition to sinus massage. I don't put anybody in a box, so we can absolutely address other things as well and um, kind of factor that into their, uh, their program. Awesome, well thank you so much for oh, having welcome. a good conversation with us. My pleasure. If anyone wants to schedule with Liz, uh, feel free to call 703 Four four eight five seven nine nine, and we can get you on the schedule as soon as possible. Thanks All so right. much. Thanks. Bye. Bye.